What is going on everybody? I want to tell you right now out the gate, Skiff knives, that is right, these right here are going to be 20% off the next two days. If you guys order within the next two days, it's guaranteed to deliver to your house by Christmas. So if you guys are looking for a Christmas gift and you guys are looking to get 20% off, go ahead and grab yourself one of these Skiff knives. You guys already know this is uh, me and Demo's company right here. It's been uh, going pretty strong. This, 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 uh, this one's been used a little bit on some boxes. I've used this one just a tad bit on some boxes. It's uh, got a lot of glue on it, but... Anyway, if you guys are looking for some knives, click the link at the very top of the bottle if you're looking for a Christmas gift for somebody that you guys know who likes knives or who needs a new everyday carry knife. We've got a whole bunch of them in stock right now. Just go ahead, 20% off next two days, and it'll guarantee to be delivered to your house by Christmas. So, I do love you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Click the link at the top of the bottle if you guys would like to uh, check out some of our little uh, skiff knives. There's many different kind of, many different options. I love you guys, and uh, let's go ahead and roll into the video. What is going on everybody? Welcome over here to Lunkers TV. Today is going to be a slightly, slightly different video. We might go fishing just a tad bit here later on in the video, but I'm going to mess around for, well, maybe just for, for a little bit. I actually, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to admit I've never used, never honestly used a chainsaw on a tree. So today we're going to, I'm going to learn how to do that correctly. Cause that's probably something I need to know as, as, a, as a guy. I probably, I probably need to know that or just any person in general probably needs to know how to use a chainsaw correctly. I'll cut a tree down. How about that? But I was doing this for the last couple days. I was working with all the, all the the old cat i for some reason have now been 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 deemed the name bobcat turk or what were they calling bobcat rob bob bobcat turk whatever you guys are going crazy but i did build this build a uh fairly decent sized little bonfire deal here this is some land carrying over here on toby's and now we're having a slight slight leakage issue do you see that right there it was coming out of here around, exactly, around yeah, this spot here. exactly right there yeah yeah until it's a little loose there so I'll say a limb probably come back and just oh you think so moved it a little bit but disengage the hydraulics like you like you're trying to operate the arms yep. that is tell us if it's leaking on this side See, this is leaking yeah. pretty decent. Yeah. Looks like that don't feel just right where this uh, helper connects. So. so I'm actually contemplating getting something like this for, for the land. I did speak to uh, the guy that, or the ranch, I guess we would want to call it. The guy that I was working with on the deal, he uh, went out there today and they did some, some soil testing for a future project. But I'm going to have to get me something like that. I, I It's kind of funny. I actually learned how to use one of those in Afghanistan. Quick little short short story is uh the only reason why i know how to use those is because they would give us airdrops that's how we got all of our stuff they would drop all of our supplies from ammo to food to water literally just drop it overnight and like one in the morning and we would go out with a bobcat and groups of dudes and they literally just shuffle all the stuff back and forth from the airdrop with one of those they, they land on a pallet so they use forks and just bring them in quickest way random story of the day <laughs> So in one of the cooking videos you guys will see here in a, at a, I don't know, probably in a couple weeks from now, two days ago, I think it was about two days ago. What was it, an otter? Was this, this, this one was an otter that dug the hole. So right here, there was actually no water flowing like whatsoever right here. That was, it was dammed up by that, that little tiny beaver dam. We did, we did kind of fill it out a little bit with the bobcat, but the water was coming around here. It was flowing along this side and all the way down the side. There was a little, uh, a little otter had dug something out right here. His own little, own little tunneling system. So we dug all this out and we pushed it all back in. Wow, that is crazy, the amount of water. That has been literally flowing out of this bottom lake for the last two days like this. That's how high that little tiny beaver dam actually forced the water to come up. It's just flowing. That's some, that's some legit flowage. These are kind of, this is like one of the things where I'm not ashamed to say I've never, never done before and ask somebody that knows how to do it like really well. We're going to remove some of these trees off the side because right now the roots are growing up over the concrete. Just do some cleaning on this area that was supposed to be where the flowage is going, I guess you would say. Right, there's choke. And then, uh, you know, it's always good when you're cutting, cut away from your body. Yeah. You know, don't, don't cut towards you because if it, if you cut through the slip, you know, you don't want to get your legs. So. You got eye protection, gloves, you're ready to go.
Honestly, I'm glad I came and actually learned that. Doing it the correct way. I feel good. So we've been up here filming Guggen videos for the past couple days. My boat was already up here. I haven't used my boat yet. The guys actually took my boat out on the lake here and uh, fished for a little bit. And yesterday in the past couple days, like I said, I did some, some bobcat stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and roll some of that footage and I'll see you guys over here at the ramp. So I haven't, like I said, I haven't even used my boat. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it in there and dangle just for a little, just for a tad bit. It's, it's been really cold there. I think it was like 20, 24 or so this morning. So the bite should be phenomenal. You know, I'm not really in the mood to throw a spinnerbait. I know exactly what I want to throw. What do you think about mud bug? Old mud bug. There we go. There's a little one. Oh my gosh, that is tiny, 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 tiny. Tiny, tiny. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, little dude. You are very tiny. Come. All right, how about that? Okay. That was a tiny one right out the gate. What rod am I using right now? No wonder. I was like, man, that thing, I gotta switch off rods. I'm using a seven foot heavy right now. I feel like I literally just kind of like lift him in the boat with no effort. I want a, I want a little bit better tip on this if I'm going to throw this. Let's see here. You know what this rod would be good for? This has got kind of thicker line. I was, I was going to use it because of the grass. I didn't realize it was on a 7 Heavy though. Not really the greatest rod. Short rod, short stout rod with one of these is not really good. You want something that's going to give just a tad bit. But it'll be fine for this grass hero. And the reason why I say you guys want it to, to give just a tad bit when you're throwing any kind of treble, treble hook, kind of like this. No matter if it's a little square bill or anything like that. But you kind of want to have a good fast tip. And you don't want it to be so stout because it'll just pop them right out of its mouth. I almost tied that on the wrong one. But it's fine. I'm throwing a swim jig, kind of like this. Grass hero. That'll be just fine. All right, now we're good. Got a couple different rods set up. I've got a spinnerbait now. I've got a swim jig. A grass hero with a little 3.3 inch saucy swimmer. And then I've got this mud bug clutch. Throw this for a little while. See if my tip. It's a bit faster. That one did feel a little stout when I did start casting it. There you go. That, that's a lot better. You want a shorter rod for jerk bait and top waters and stuff like this. There's one, there's one, there we go. Come on, hadn't shown itself. I don't think it's very big. I'm, I was actually just thinking in my head, man, I need to switch over to a different color, which I think I'm going to here in a second if I can't get him to bite. This one, oh, there's another one chasing it, there's another one chasing it. Gosh, dang it. Nothing chasing it all the way up. Back up there, I guess. Oh my God, you are so cold, little man. So cold, I was actually thinking about throwing on the cash crop. That's that, that color that we killed it on last time. I mean, that, that color this time of the year is just money. It's like a clearish with some red. I'll probably throw it on here if I can't get bit again real quick. That fish had another one with him, little buddy. So out here, they got like, um, it kind of reminds me of Florida. It's very clean water. It's not very deep. It's like shaped as a bowl. This lake shaped as a bowl. And the fish just stack up on these, these random pads or bl blots of grass. I don't even know what the word you want to call them. Just patches of grass. You won't just catch one. You end up catching like five off of them. And then there's literally nothing from the bank to like way out there, 100 yards away, there's just a thing of grass that those fish just sit on. Kind of reminds me of Okeechobee. You know what, I'm gonna switch over to that cash crow. I got so much face in this color I'm about to show you guys. This is a good color, I just got a couple on it, but I just, I don't know, confidence. Confidence is pretty key here. And what I was talking about, see? It's like clear with some red and gold, orange on the belly. There's one. I've got one. Tony, it just sit on this grass patch, dude. This one's tiny. Oh, I see another little grass patch over there. Fish? Big? No. See, there's one with them. There we go. There we go. He hit it right when I stopped it. Come on, be good. Uh, I don't. I don't think he's a giant. 
No, I don't. He hit it so far out there, he knocked slack on the line. Yeah, he's giving like super light head shakes at the end here. Yeah, they're just so dang cold. I mean, it was, it was what was it, 24 or 26 this morning? 24? That is, I know, that might be, that's, that might not be too bad for you guys up north, but down here in the south, 24 with these Florida large strain or largemouth. Florida strain largemouth, there we go. They do not like that. I mean, that is not big at all. Oh, oh man. There's another one. Yeah. Dude, they're all over this grass. This one has a head shake at all. He's not big. Bigger than the last one. Oh, hey. This one's actually fairly, fairly fat. This one's pretty healthy. Fairly healthy fish right there. There we go. Decent largemouth number one of the day. We've caught another but tiny one so far. But there's like grass here, grass there, grass there. We're just going to kind of drift through this grass with the wind in my back. See if we can hook up to a giant. There we go. Another good thing would probably be uh, throwing a jerk bait. But I'm not I'm not like giant and throwing jerk baits. It's not like my thing. I'd rather throw this and rip it through the grass and get them to react to it. See, I mean, there's still grass in here. You know what, if you guys are new to the channel, click the link at the very top of the bio. You guys can go to shopcalls.com. It'll take you directly there. And you guys can actually save 30% off your tackle with a membership from there. And if you guys are new to the channel, you guys never heard of them, you need to check them out, especially if you fish. Or if you're looking for like Christmas gift ideas, go check out Shop Carls. It'll be linked at the very top of the description. You can get all the Googan stuff there. Much your heart desires. There's an, ah, there's another one. This is a fish. That is definitely a fish. Dude, these fish are so lethargic. He hit it and just, I'm like, I feel like I'm just dragging dead weight right now. Look at this. With slight, slight head shakes. Slight head shakes. It's not bad. He's really not a bad one. Oh my God, look at the lipstick he's got on. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Look at the lipstick. Look at that. Now that is the reddest mouth I've seen in a while. Oh my. Look at that, look what he's got down his throat. Dude, you gotta get the big camera out. Look at that. Another decent one. Oh my, I'm just, I'm looking for a, I, th I think my day will be complete if I could, if I could just find like a four or a five pounder right now. You know what, maybe, maybe it's not gonna, maybe even a three pounder, probably three. There's another one, I'm telling you, ah, oh, there he is, came back, yeah, I'm telling you dude, if you guys do not have one of these colors sitting inside your box you need to i mean this thing is tiny tiny that is the tiniest fish like look at that thing this thing just came off the old nipple oh that's what i get for saying that i guess huh okay 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 calm down this place is probably gonna spawn like oh my gosh it's gonna probably two weeks, three weeks after East Texas, maybe even a month. Being this far up north in Oklahoma City, they're just stacked on all this grass, man. I'm sitting here thinking about the spawn and it's December. I need to make a trip over to, uh, wow, that is, this fish doesn't even want to move. Look at him, now he takes off. I need to make a trip out to Florida here in January, guys. I need to go, go hit the spawn up like we did last year. We can go catch a, hopefully we can get on some double digits. Got some pretty good lakes there. I like Okeechobee's one of them. That's definitely a, a stop when we go to Florida, but I got a couple around Orlando. Yeah, there's a couple, what is it? The Kissimmee Channel Lakes up there? Oh man, they got my name written all over it this next coming here. It's not fishing a frog? Yeah, on a frog. That's why you're the king of fishing. Well, there's the king of cows and pigs and... Hey, uh, what about the camera guys? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we got, we got them. Good. <clears throat> oh, probably helps. Actually, I drove off with that thing still attached before. Oh man, well I hope you guys enjoyed this video over here on Lunkers TV. I want to say the next couple of videos are going to be great. Are you guys out of here? Okay, well, I love you guys. Enjoy yourself. I didn't know you guys were coming back here. I would have just drove you. I didn't know you were coming back here. I would have drove you. But... Um, okay, well that's pretty much it. You know what, I'm kind of enjoying this new outro over here on Longers TV. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick that over and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for, for watching this.